looking to stand. It's the same thing that got him in trouble when he lost his title. Tonight, I think that's what he's got to do. For Phil DeFries, he's got to use that great ground game for MMA. Keep his wits about him, avoid the early storm, and get on top, if he can. A lot of confidence from Badoff. Just marches in, but DeFries is one of these unassuming fighters. He really is. DeFries looks like the man least likely to, but he's so skillful, and he uses the ring well, and he's making Badoff chase him. Couple of headshots there from DeFries, just to let Badoff know he's not the only puncher in town. Our referee Mark Goddard keeping a very, very eye, cool eye on proceedings. And referees have had an easy night tonight, haven't they, Chris? You bet. DeFries looks pretty solid. I'm seeing some improved boxing here. If he can put Badoff down, that's good, but I would also see him doing well in the clinch. If he can stay on the right side of things and keep off the wire, it could be good work for Phil DeFries. If Badorf gets tired, they've got five rounds in which to work. Well, that's good, solid kicking from Badorf. And Badorf knows he can land a kick, but look at the takedown. That's exactly what Phil wanted. Bit of a stumble, but it was a mess up. Badorf broke stance, Phil charged forward, and he got down. Wasn't the cleanest takedown, but it's a great takedown. If Phil can make this a messy fight and get Badorf breathing hard, that's the first step to success. Kimura trap counter here for Carol Badorf. He's got that figure four on. I'm not sure how tight the grip is. Phil can take his back here. Phil DeFries working the locks here. Works his way round to the side now. But Badoff hanging on there, trying to spoil the party. And look at this, Carol Badoff on his back. He's looking for that empty half guard. He's got that left leg grapevine in. It's been a long time since we've seen Carol here, though. Look at that guard recovery. Gorgeous. Just shuffles the hips, makes the correct adjustments. Open guard, left butterfly hook and play. Well, DeFries now in a very commanding position. He's got the range and he's got the height. And Badoff gets the legs up. That guard is open. Badoff needs to close him down, spoil him. DeFries being frustrated. I have to say he's worked very well off of his back, Badoff. He really has. That's been very, very sensible defense. And uh, you can see the brain working now. He's hooked in. He's three times European champion BJJ, two times ADCC pro qualifier. He's got a great jiu-jitsu game. This is actually what the fanboy in me wanted to see. They're two great grapplers for MMA. Well, all night we've seen stand-up, we've seen KOs, we've seen TKOs. This is the first time it's gone to the canvas, and boy, are we getting a fest here. This is what Phil's got to do. He's got to just keep punching, stay busy. Even if he doesn't advance position, if he can't pass guard, you saw Badoff was able to recover. If Phil can do enough work to maintain his position and avoid the stand-up, this would be huge. Oh, leg like a tap here from Badoff. Well, working off his back beautifully, Badoff, but DeFries is a real force to be reckoned with. And look at that! Beautiful transition from both men, actually. But it's still DeFries that's on top here, and still Badoff having to work off his back. This is tough territory. That butterfly guard just keeping DeFries where he wants him, Badoff, and that's right pinned up on his navel. Doesn't want to let him advance too high, but he's got such a long reach, hasn't he, DeFries? That was an early scare, but Phil did the right thing. He played defense at the right time. Badoff attacked with that heel hook, tried to reap and expose that heel but he couldn't get it, and we're back to here with the guard. Closed guard now for Carol Badorf. He's closed it, holding his man in that low, low position. Just look at that transition, though, to half. DeFries, he just looks like a man that's least likely to, but then he just performs so well. Well, here's a little bit of trickiness now. Badorf's got an arm. Has he got enough? He's got it. He's got the arm locked up. He's going to force Phil to defend. If Phil can pass, that's the first step to success. They call this a Kimura trap because when, as long as you've got that grip, you can offer a lot of different things, including sweeps, attacks, recovering your guard, forcing your opponent to move certain ways. I'm loving the ebbs and flows of offense and defense here. Absolutely. Badoff now under a bit of pressure as those shots go in. Referee watching. Has he defended himself here, Carol Badoff? He's in trouble. Phil DeFries is just relentless here. He is the champion, he wants to keep this belt, but Badoff, hungry, can he do enough? We're on the 10 second clapper, nothing is gonna happen here that's gonna make a difference to this now, as the clock ticks away. 
Good punches here from Phil DeFries. That was great. He collapsed Vador's guard. You look at the build, you think this is a very capable man, but DeFries here is causing all kinds of problems, and he's got the height advantage. Uh, Badoff, capable of a nice head kick, comes in behind some straight punches. You know, I don't think Badoff's got enough here tonight for DeFries. And DeFries gets the pickup, puts him down. He's got to tire him out here. He's got to watch out for those transitions. Badoff went outside Ashi, then inside Ashi. He's really crafty. I'm convinced Badorf has good skills off his back. It's been a long time since we've seen him here. In fact, I don't think ever since you and I have commentated and we've seen him in this position. Absolutely not. I mean, he's such a strong finisher, Badorf. He's commanded the division in Poland. But Phil de Vries is another level. The maturity, the strength, and the skill. And you have to realize what a player, uh, you know, a grappler that um, Badorf is. He's having all that trouble containing de Vries. And de Vries is just relentless. He's like the tide. This is good work again from Phil DeFries. He's got the unhook really deep on the right. He's got to get his head nice and tight, nice and deep. And just slowly wear Carroll down. It's going to take some time. Badoff's a good grappler, so you got to get him tired. You got to flatten him down. Pin both shoulders, pin both hips, and then start to slide forward. This is what I'm talking about. You see the way that Phil wants to be as deep as possible with his head? That will help set up the pass. Badoff starts to struggle, tries to shift. A lot going on here. It's crazy to see two big guys putting on such an active ground game. And they are very, very athletic. Actually, Badoff looks a lot better off than I thought he would be after taking those headshots. He's done a very good job working off his back, but uh, De Vries is relentless. Badoff still looks composed, but he's starting to look up to the roof of the arena as if to say, I don't want to live in this room anymore. And uh, this is a world of pain for Badoff. And a lot of credit to Phil DeFries. I didn't know how quickly he'd be able to take Carroll down. The answer was very quickly. This is massive. DeFries now starting to bring the knee into play here. Grinding up, trying to pass guard. And if he does, I just think this is going to be too much for Badoff. The height advantage and the reach advantage that DeFries brings to this just makes that mount position a world of pain for Badoff. He's trying desperately to pass De Vries, and Badoff is trying to protect himself. Just doesn't want to take the headshot, but De Vries is relentless. I don't understand how Badoff can't contain him. He's such a powerful man. And just look at him, he can't hold the head down of De Vries. De Vries just brings the arms up and over and lobs the shots in. He's doing the right thing. He's controlling the base and then punching with the other arm. Phil's head position is correct. Every single time Bedar starts to shift and move, Phil will mirror that and sort of scoop forward. You notice how tight his hips is, his hips are, excuse me, to Carol Bedar. That's one of the keys here in this position. And Bedar can tie him up, but you can only weather the storm so long. Well, this is attritional now for Bedar. He's been on his back for most of this bout. It's scheduled for five. We've got a minute and a half left of round two. This, well, this is going to be the m battle of the mat that we have not seen at all here at KSW 45. Don't forget, it's for the championship strap. There's a moment of relief there for Badoff, but look at that, De Vries powers that punch in. Great stuff. He held the legs, threatened the pass one way, then pulled them actually towards him, only to throw the punch, landed the punch, and then passed off that. And now he goes to work on the far side arm. This is bad, Will. He's got that arm locked up. He can hit the, can he hit the key lock here. He's got the Americana, he might go straight on bar. We're in submission territory, Badoff slips the lock, but De Vries still has side control. Great stuff. Badoff was in a tricky spot there and then just turned his thumb to relieve the pressure. Phil now, he's got options here. If he punches, he can start to isolate that on. He's gonna go work on it again. What would Badoff have to do to... <laughs> to remove this world of pain. Well, he's thinking about a couple of different things. He can obviously turn like he's continuing to to the opposite side, but that would give up his back. Oh, there's a tap. That's a tap bar. Carol Badoff has submitted. Phil De Vries has retained the crown. Chris, how did that happen? It came from nowhere. Beautiful submission win there. He played position. He did everything he needed to do. Set up the pass, punched at the right time, isolated the arm, 
He was a threat from many different angles. That was the perfect game plan and an even better implementation from the champ. And still. You know what, Chris? I, I kind of had the feeling this was only ever going to go one way. It was one hand clapping for Carol Badoff there, but he's been submitted. I mean, you know, we thought we were going to see the comeback 50 shades of Badoff, but in actual fact, what we're seeing was the mountain of pain that filled the free sport to this. Well, it's a win. And the British champion retains the KSW crown. And it's back to the drawing board for Carol Badorf. And Chris, we're going to see the tape here. How did he perpetrate that submission? That's a huge feather in the cap for Phil DeFries. Magnificent. To do it here after so much smack talk, after an in shape, injury free, Carol Badorf comes back. And a guy who's got an amazing grappling. Pedigree. He's got a lot of accolades outside the sport of MMA. That being said, though, Phil DeFries, he's been in the game for a long time. He was a grappler before MMA. This is his time to shine. He was convinced he really found the right headspace. He never felt better mentally, physically, and emotionally. And you know what? The proof is in the pudding. Phil DeFries putting in work here in London. Well, you know, if Scott Askham takes a win against Materla, we could have two UK fighters as champions in the biggest divisions at KSW here. Szanowni Państwo, walka o pas skończyła się w drugiej rundzie po 4 minutach i 26 sekundach. Ladies and gentlemen, winner by Americana and still KSW Heavyweight Champion of the World, Philippe 